What's up there YouTube? Uh, today we're gonna I'm gonna talk about I'm gonna show the differences and talk about a little bit about the differences between the Windows phone, the Nokia Lumia 1520, and my new um, Nexus 6P. I got the Nexus 6P thinking, you know, what it, what it is, if you, if you watch my channel, you'll see that I've got, I did a review on the Android head unit for the Toyota. Um, I have a Toyota Camry and I put a Android head unit in it um, because I was, you know, I wanted a new uh, stereo in it, new head unit, and I got an Android head unit for the Toyota. And I did that because I, the one that was in it wasn't very good and I wanted to have navigation and stuff right on the screen instead of having the phone like I have an adapter to make your phone stick like and it you put it up and it sticks in your CD drive and then you can use the navigation but it's it's not, it's not really practical and this phone is quite large this is a six inch phone um, I like it but it's a six inch phone and I'm not going to talk too much about the um, Differences in the OS and stuff like that because people know pretty much know the differences in the OS a lot of people don't understand the differences in the in the Windows OS they don't understand why it is the way it is but it's actually much more elegant after using this phone for the past three or four months whatever since I got it this this phone I mean it works the Nexus 6P works really well and I actually put a uh, Nexus uh, Android N on it. I, I, I ran Android N and it, it runs good. I mean, I haven't had a problem with it. It does everything I want it to do. There are some glaring differences when it comes to is things like speech to text. Microsoft, Microsoft Windows speech to text is simply amazing. It, you can even mumble and it knows what words you've got. It doesn't, it never gets this, this phrases wrong. Almost never. I mean, I'll say stuff, and if I say somebody's name or something like that, a lot of times the, the Google, the Android, will put in a different word there. And I'll have to go back and highlight the word, hit delete, and then type in the different word. Like if I'm, if I'm, if I'm doing speech to text, it's much better on the Windows phone. The Windows phone gets it 99.9% .9 of the time. It nails it. Speech to text, it nails. The Google, the Android is getting better, and Android N that's on this phone, it's better. I mean, it, it does it, but a lot of times it does miss words, and it gets words wrong, and it gets phrases wrong, and it gets locations wrong. A lot more than I noticed on that. I noticed on the Windows phone, I, I would use it all the time for Cartana. I would just click the thing and I'd say what I wanted to say and it would always come up and I never even had to look at it. On the on the Nexus, it seems to be getting better. I get it when I say, okay, Google, it comes right on and I, I see you know, as I'm typing, I can see the, the words that are coming up on here. So perfect example, like right there, it says it comes right on and I see you. I never said you. Now, as I'm typing, I can see that the words are, see it coming up on here. So it got part of it right, but I didn't say you. I didn't say, see you now. I mean, I can play it, let's play it back. It comes right on and I, I see, and I, as I'm typing, I can see the, the words that are coming up on here. Now you see, I didn't say, see you. I didn't say you, but it says you. So a lot of times it gets it gets the words wrong. It gets the things wrong. That's one one thing. Now, the biggest thing, and I'm gonna I'm gonna show you in the in the description. I like the fingerprint sensor for turning it on. It's one less thing I have to use two hands for. On this, I'm I got used to hitting a button and then sliding my finger up. You know, and it has it has a photo button. So you can just hit a button to take photos, which is nice, but technically you can double click this power button and it brings up the camera instantly from no matter where you are and you can take a picture. This camera's gotten a lot better 
than the earlier Nexus cameras. The Nexus 6P camera is actually pretty decent. It's it's almost as good as the Samsung cameras. I think it, I think it is. I think it's quite good. But the big the biggest one, and I'm gonna show a video here in the car, was I bought the Android head unit, and uh, I got the head unit so that I can so that I can do navigation on and have it sync. Uh, so turn on the Wi-Fi hotspot and basically do navigation right there on the unit. The, the thing is, though, is the Bluetooth implementation on Android is far inferior to the one on Windows. In other words, on Windows, all I did was turn on the Bluetooth, connect it to the car kit, and that was it. I was done. I didn't have to do anything else. If I started, if I went on the car and put Bluetooth on as the, the source, whenever I played music, it would play right out on the Bluetooth. That was fine. Whenever I'd get a call, it would come right in on the Bluetooth and work perfectly. It came right in on the Bluetooth, no problem. The call would come up on the screen. It wouldn't come up, it would come up on the phone, but you wouldn't hear anything on the phone. It would come up on the screen. You could hit answer. You could talk. They could hear you just fine. Hang up the call, whatever. On the Nexus, when you get a call, the phone itself rings. And when you answer it on the screen, it's also playing out on the speaker on the phone. So it's loud. So it's, it's, it's loud. You can hear an echo. And the ringer and the sound is still coming through the phone, which is nonsense. If you're, if you're connected to Bluetooth, it should just go through the Bluetooth. What? I'm getting text messages like crazy here. The other, the other issue is when you're when when I bring this into the car, right? And I do the and I and I have the two devices. Now I only have one SIM card, so I'm going to have to unplug my SIM out of this out of the Nexus and put it back into the into the into the Nokia in order to in order for now this is the flagship Windows Phone at the time that it came out, and this is a two-year-old phone. So I'm gonna have to take my SIM card out and put it in here in order to, to receive text. But if you if I'm driving and I got a text message on the Windows Phone, the difference is astounding between that and the and the Nexus. Now it's an Android head unit. This is Android operating system on the phone. It's using run the latest. It's Android 4.4.4 KitKat on on the head unit in the car. They're connected via Bluetooth. I've got I've went through every setting I could possibly find in the phone to try and turn on turn off headphones and stuff like that just different things headphone on head, headphone off bluetooth stereo through the speakers blah 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 everything I could figure out I can't find anything that will do what this phone does when I'm driving or in the car and as soon as this the 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 windows phone connects if I get a text message it reads out new text message from Shanna or whoever the person from Jim and it says would you like me to read the text and I say back yes and then it reads the text to me and then it says would you like to reply and I say yes and it says start your message so I say what I want to say when I get done it's I it says Here's your message. And it reads the message back that I spoke and it gets the words 99.9% .9 right. So it comes out perfect. Even if it's something complicated, like I'll meet you at Chick-fil-A in 15 minutes on Roberts Road. It will come right out and, and say, I'll meet you at Chick-fil-A in 15 minutes at Roberts Road. And it says, would you like to send it? And I say yes, and that's it. Technically, I could put this phone in the glove box, in the, in the console, and forget it. This one, no. This one, it doesn't do a single text or anything. I actually have to pull the phone out and look at it. So I have to pull over, because I'm driving, and pull over and look at the phone and click on the text messages. I can't, it doesn't come through the, the Bluetooth. It doesn't make any sense. Here you got a two-year-old Windows phone running Windows 10, and it does the Bluetooth through the Android head unit. And now you have a 2016 uh, Samsung or a Nexus it's a um, Hawaii Nexus 6P, the actual Google Android phone, and it doesn't communicate with the Android head unit the way it should. 
I'm going to show it to you right now. So here, I'm going to show you exactly how it works, and you you be the judge. So here I am on my Nexus 6P, and I'm connected right there at the top. You can see Nexus 6P is listed right there as the Bluetooth device that's connected. So now, let's see, I'm gonna set the camera down here. We'll see what happens when I get a text. So far, nobody's texting me back. Okay, did you hear that? She came back. I'm gonna say hi. Hi, and I sent it. And you can hear the sounds through the speakers. I'm also going to have her call me. So you can see what it sounds like when she calls. Call me now. Call me now. So you can hear it. It's loud. And even when the radio's on, I'm not turning the radio on so that it don't get copyright protections. So... When I get a message through Facebook, it just comes up like that. Nothing happens. It's connected to the Bluetooth. There's the Bluetooth thing at the top. Now she's going to call. I'm going to set the phone down here. Let me let me fix this where I can set the phone down. This thing's dirty. Okay. Hear the, hear the phone? The phone's ringing, and that's ringing. Hear it? Hear the other ring? Now watch my answer it. Hey. Hi. How you doing? Good. How are you? How does it sound? Does it have an echo? Just barely. So you hear a little bit of an echo when you talk? Do you hear yourself? No, I just hear you and um, you. Okay. Oh, wait, now I hear myself. Yeah, do you hear yourself a little bit? Because the speaker's on on yeah. the phone is what happens. The speaker's on the phone. <laughs> Okay. Okay. Now I'm gonna I'm gonna text you again in just a minute, but with my other phone. Okay. Windows Phone is listed right there. Windows Phone. And now I'm sending. I'm gonna send messages here. So turn the Bluetooth volume up so that you can hear it. Are you there? Now we're going to go back home. Now it's just sitting here on the screen. You there. I'm sending her a message. so that She'll send me a message back. So there's the message. So you hit the little microphone, but you can talk to it and say, Hi, Cortana, or hello, Cortana, and it will come right up. Text. Shanna Ray. Text Shanna Ray. Sure, Shanna Ray. Which number? Mobile or mobile two? The first one. Shanna Ray. Which number? Mobile or mobile two? Mobile. Okay, send a text to Shauna Ray. What do you want to say? Hey, Shanna, what are you doing tonight? Here's what I have. Hey, Shauna, what are you doing tonight? Send it, add more, or try again. Send it. Sure thing, send. So... That is how it works. But this is just connected Bluetooth. I didn't set up any extra thing. It automatically uses Cortana to go through and send you and send and receive messages. So that message sent to Shanna. And it says, Shanna Ray, it's my granddaughter. Hey, Shanna, what are you doing tonight? See, it sent the message. And I didn't have to, um, see? Hey, Shanna, what are you doing tonight? So I didn't have to do anything but, but say it. So when the phone is sitting here, I can, I can say, Hey, Cortana, 
Uh, I might might have Hey Cortana turned off. Let me see. Let me see if let me turn the settings on. I can even search for a setting. Oops. Cortana. Hey Cortana. Text from Sean Array. See. Want to read it or ignore it? Read it. The message is, tonight I'm going go out to the movies, how about you? Reply, call back, or are you done? Reply. Okay, what do you want to say? Hey Shanna, go ahead and call me. What was your message? Go ahead and give me a call. Okay, text Sean Array. Go ahead and give me a call. Send it, add more, or try again. Send it. Sure, I've sent that. So, so if this, if this, hey, Cortana is turned on, so we'll turn, we'll search for Cortana. I'll go for Hey Cortana. You turn on Hey Cortana. I have to train it and stuff, but. Okay. So now, Hey Cortana. Okay, you need to disconnect. I gotta disconnect it, but use it just like you use um, just like you use, uh, okay, Google. Use it the same way, except for you just say, "Hey, Cortana." So technically, as long as this is connected, it's saying that it needs to be disconnected from Bluetooth. So as long as it's connected to Bluetooth, I could just say, "Hey, Cortana," and it would launch Cortana, and then I could say, "Text Shanna Ray," or "Text Jim Duncan," or "Text whoever's in my contacts," and it will text him and say, what would you like to say? And then I can actually sit, speak the text and it will send it. And then if they send it back, it'll cut in. It cuts in on the radio or whatever. And, and values. And, 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 and so what the Judeo Christian. So. From Sean Array. Should I read it or ignore it? Read it. The message is, yes, I'm hungry. Reply, call back, or are you done? Reply. Okay, what would you like to say? You're still hungry. We just ate KFC. Okay, you want to text Sean Array. You're still hungry. We just ate KFC. Send it, add more, or try again. Send it. Message sent. Wouldn't be surprised talking about tax rates and revenues not moving in the same direction. Okay. But this modern Democratic Party we're dealing with is now. Different. You tell and me. I hope what, what's what better? You that said before it gets across to some Democrats out there. Nothing and happens. They refrain from becoming. And your text messages go unanswered. Sitting in your phone in the in the console.